Hello everyone, Horseman here, and today I'm bringing you an unboxing video of the World of Warcraft Dragonflight Collector's Edition box. This box was pre-ordered and delivered to me yesterday, November 6th. Thus far, you can see that it is still cellophane wrapped, so this is going to be a tried and true unboxing, though there will be some adjustments later on. Now, one thing I have to say is that this has got to be one of the best looking Collector's Edition boxes that I've seen up to this point. Complete with the chiseled stone look, the, and then in the background you have that kind of magic multicolored hologram looking uh, material. It looks fantastic. The side here would make a great compliment to the rest of everything else that I have on the bookshelf. The only issue is that due to poor packaging and the fact that the FedEx just threw it on my doorstep, got some damage. And I do not like that because I will be displaying this. Okay, now it's time to open this box up. Now, one thing to note is, again, with that holographic blue area, multicolor, it gives it a great sense of depth. Almost looks like that it really is sitting behind what looks like stone sculptures. I also did notice that there's some more damage uh, in that bottom right hand corner as well as that top left. Um, again, I hope that Blizzard does something to fix their shipping methods because the box that it came in was not very great to begin with and honestly FedEx just threw it at my doorstep. It wasn't even on my porch or in my entryway. So hopefully they can do something to fix that. But let's get it open. Upon opening it, I was greeted with the Art of World of Warcraft Dragonflight book as well as a nifty logo for World of Warcraft that almost has a Nordic rune-like appearance to it, or Celtic. It's very, very neat looking. The artwork on the front of the book looks great, silver inlaid gold colors here, sorry for the blur. I have to get it just right. The light was right above me here, but here we go. There we go. The art of World of Warcraft. There we go. I can't even talk. Same logo on the back. It's good. Getting the wrap off, it has a deep kind of textured feel to it and you can kind of see in this in the lighting that it looks like there's a bunch of scratches on it and it does give it kind of that stone like appearance and feel to it and that's really neat old weathered maybe even leatherish same thing on the back here and you can really see it pop out in the gold but let's go ahead and get it open just to give you a sample First page, Rathian's beautiful face, right? <laughs> Some environments. I'm not going to get into too many of these because I don't want to spoil anything, of course. A lot of stuff, even I, I have no idea what these things are, but it looks amazing. Environmental artwork has always been incredible. There you have it. Like that quite a bit. I'm going to have to go through that here soon. And as always, we do get a mouse pad. The mouse pad features Alex Straza, just like the Art of World of Warcraft book. As always, made from the same type of material. Nothing new, nothing too terribly fancy here. Honestly, pretty standard. What sets it apart? Uh, just like in Shadowlands, we got some pins. Um, and this one rep representative of the different dragon flights. The material used on these pins seems to be a little bit plasticky, not too heavy, not too light, um, but they do feel a little durable which is nice you know especially if you do plan on taking these off and putting on a backpack or something like that and going to a con which is cool but we got Isera, we got Caligos, we got Alex Straza but we also have Rathian. Rathian, of course instead of Neltharion uh, 
with Rathian actually taking over for him as the Black Dragonflight uh, leader. So that was really cool. And of course, no Dormu. Backside, very well padded. Honestly, I'm probably going to display it just like this. And of course, as you can imagine, I did a little bit of editing here. Um, this is not necessarily live, first unboxing, but um, this is an envelope that comes with probably the most important part of this entire box, featuring different logos and uh, the Epic Edition code uh, that must be redeemed in order for uh, all of the cool features and the game itself to be uh, available to the player. Then we also have a quick start guide, which uh, never really got, at least not that I can remember, so I just wanted to see what this was all about. And it is just a detailed um, account of what Dragonflight's going to be bringing, what kind of prerequisites you must have, as well as what's included with the Epic Edition. Pets, character boost, 30 days of game time, a new mount, etc. And a warning, of course. Much like that starter guide, a revisit of the backside of the box looks good. The side looks incredible. Will definitely look good on my shelf. And there you have it, folks, the full unboxing of the World of Warcraft Dragonflight Collector's Edition. I really do hope that you enjoyed this. If there are any questions or comments, please put it in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say. If you have made it this far, thank you for watching. For more content, please like, subscribe, and come back for more. Hope you have a great one. Horseman, out.